I'm gonna demonstrate this Titan too. It's, a, it's one of the best cutters we have. It's got a servo motor. It's gonna cut patterns like butter. I'm gonna cut a pattern. I'm gonna show you guys how we do it. And, um, and then we're gonna reverse engineer it to show you how we set it up. So uh, you guys like to call me and I love to help you guys to help set these plotters up. But maybe watching a video might actually be a little bit more beneficial than me trying to talk over the phone. So we're gonna have another option here to help with these plotters. First thing I wanna do though is I wanna cut a pattern. I'm gonna show you what it does. I've already set it up. I'm gonna show you that we can get to a, a, a wonderful spot here on, on a smooth cutting machine. So I'm gonna step right here and I uh, wanna kinda show you guys I've already set up the pattern. This is this little side window on a Nissan Titan. I'm gonna put it on quick cut. I think we've already set it up. we got the right driver in here. I've got it ready to cut. So now, here we go, I'm gonna hit the button. Now I want you to notice how quiet this motor is. This is a servo motor. Just like the Japanese motor we find in the, uh, the these uh, Rolands, you know. So the, these uh, SC2s that are behind me, uh, this one's got a stepper motor. It's a little louder. This MH over here behind me, you'll show them that one there. Okay, that's also got a stepper motor. They're, they they sound a little more, they're louder. They sound like R2D2. That's just a characteristic of the motor. They don't cut any different. They cut all very well. But this servo motor is starting to step up into the $5,000 league and up, you know, with this type of motor. So here we go. We'll be real quiet. I want you to see how it does. And here we go. See how quiet that is? Listen. See how smooth it is? It's cutting that pattern out right now. Listen. Quiet. You like that quietness, you get that with a servo motor with this machine. Okay. This pattern's been cut. Okay, and if you look right here, there's a little channel here that we've got to, you know, use our ulfa knife to, to cut this. But see, our pattern starts here, and we got to get it below here. So we have to get in the habit of hitting the offline button so we can work the arrows. See, watch this. I want to make the arrow go down to below where I need to cut. So there I am. Now I'm going to cut it off, and I'm going to walk over here real quick to my shop glass. I'm going to put the. I'm going to show you guys how to. How beautifully it weeds. It reads, it weeds just like we cut on that roam over there, by the way. And uh, so we gotta cut it off. I'm gonna walk over here. Put it on the glass. Okay. I'm gonna start it. I'm about to throw this in the trash anyway. I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not about to put this on the car, so I'm gonna do it quick. Get to the point here. So watch this. Look, get it close, you got a good shot of that man. See how clean that is? See how clean it is? Let's see. Uh, you missed my scrap, I'll just leave it on the floor. There's my pattern. You can patterns like this all day long. And I'm going to show you at this point how I got there, okay? First of all, Let's talk about this machine for a second. This is a real solid frame. It's, it's a lot of aluminum. It's a, it's a real heavy, real heavy machine. This one over here, SC2, it's, it's probably half the weight. A lot of some plastic parts. Some aluminum, some plastic. These are pretty heavy too. These are the $5,000 machines. Of course, the MAs is similar to this one with a few less features. So back to this one. Uh, I want to I wanna point something out. Um, the bar on the back of this machine it is a is a continuous bar, okay, and it's got a lot of pinch rollers. Now walk over here, Brad. I'm gonna show you these pinch rollers here. Well, the first thing I did is I moved these pinch rollers where I want to put them. I've got I've got one, two, three, four, five pinch rollers, and I I put two pinch rollers to the far right of the machine if I'm standing behind it. I've got one here that I'm going to use on one edge of my film. And I've got another one here in the middle I'm going to use on the other edge, and I've got this last one on the other far edge. I will always use these two pinch rollers. If I use shorter rolls, I'll put the pinch rollers closer together. If I use longer rolls, this is a 40 inch roll, I'll move them further apart. So right now to disengage these pinch rollers, I've got to use this lever, which lifts it up at the same time, and then the film just falls right out. And I also want to point out that this roll here is um, the release liner's facing me. So if I if I put the film down on on the roller bars, I've got 
to feed from the bottom you know, into the machine because I want the film facing up and I want the release liner facing down. Let's not do that right now. So I want to share some things with you guys. I always keep a can of WD-40 close by. I've actually put some WD-40 on a cloth and I've really polished up this bar back here because I want these pinch rollers to slide a little bit better. They're not really designed when we're cutting vinyl to necessarily have to slide very good. But when we're frequently changing out different size rolls, we want it to slide. So I can put a little lubrication on the bar. I can go to the front end. You don't forget the front. There's a channel under here. I don't know if you can see that uh, really good. But I'm going to take this WD-40, you know, and I'm going to come up here and I'm going to kind of go you know, right in there. And I'm going to put a towel down below this before I do it so I don't have to get any WD-40 on my machine. And I'm going to do it on the pinch rollers that I need to slide. And so that's a little quick tip prep that you do in the very beginning. Um, but the first thing we want to do with this machine is, is deal with the blade, okay? Now I've spent a lot of, a lot of time trying to set this blade up, so I'm going to take it all apart. We're going to start over with how we got here. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to loosen the blade, the carriage arm, to get the blade out. Let's, uh, let's put the blade here on the table up here, Brad. Here it is. Here's the blade. So, I just want to point something out. You saw how I cut that pattern just then. Can you get, can you see that? You can't even see that blade. I can't even feel it. I have to push real hard on it to just feel it. If you can feel that blade any more than that, you're going to cut through the film and it's going to be kind of disastrous. But, but let's show you where I start. There's this, uh, I guess this little, th this little copper uh, brass looking tightener. We got to loosen it, you know, and, and tighten it, you know, to, to, to keep the blade from moving. But I'm going to go ahead and take it all the way out. You see that? Mm-hmm. Okay, how many viewers we got? Got any viewers on there? Yeah, they got 12. Oh, cool. Okay, that's what's inside. This is the blade's holder sleeve. This is the blade holder, and that's the blade. This is a little plunger. Okay, you see, that's some residue that accumulated when I was cutting the film right there. We always got to keep that clean. I'm going to take this blade out. It's held in there by a magnet. That's the blade, and that pointed end is the end that we put, the, put inside. So if you can see, see this brand, you, you, okay, that's the bearings. What we want to do, get a, get a shot of this. We want to take this WD-40 right here. We want to get a drop going. Then we want to put a drop on there like that. See that? And it sort of soaks in there like that. Then what we want to do is we want to start to beat it on this paper towel. Okay, that, that way we get the excess off. Okay, you got a shot of that? Mm -hmm. Then we're going to take this blade. This is the one that's a 45 degree blade. It's got the red sleeve on it, not the blue one, and uh, or the yellow one. This is the 45, okay? We want to put it in here, like that. The magnet grabs it. Then we, we also want to take um, a drop, WD-40. See, we want to put it, put it on that gasket right there. See that? Then we want to pat it off. Now we want to put the blade holder back on very carefully and we'll screw it on now here's what's cool as we screw this on now we're going to start approaching the blade okay now i'm going to loosen this you know this gold ring okay so i want to keep on trucking okay you see that see that blade you can see it now i don't know if you get a good shot of that see that blade's way too far out see that i want to go back to where i can't even see it that's way too far out that's probably about where it's supposed to be. I want to now. I can barely feel it like a grain of sand right there. Okay, what I want to do is I want to go back even further. Now, now I, I can't even feel it. Okay, See, I can't feel it now. Well, I, I can barely feel it. See, I have to I have to second guess myself. I'm going to go back even further. See how much I'm turning it? Just a little bit. Okay. Now I can't even feel it. I mean, I have to push real hard. It feels like a little bitty grain of sand. I mean, it won't even. It won't even punch my skin. You, you see, that's how sensitive this blade is. So now I'm going to tighten this up firmly, okay, like that. Now I'm ready to start trying to dial this machine in, okay? So let's walk over here. All right. First thing I want to do is I want to drop the blade back in here. Then I want to tighten this up. You don't tighten it very tight, just snug. 
See, once it starts to get, well, not yet. See, that right there is starting to get tight. I just want to go, beep, that's it. Just that much. I'm, I'm done. Okay, so the blade's in. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is how we're going to operate this machine. The first thing we have to do is have to be aware of this on-off switch. Okay, when we hit it this time, it, it, it goes to speed and force. When we hit it again, it goes back to uh, offline. So in, anytime we're offline, we can actually go up and down. Watch this. So, so see, see, these are called grit rollers. Okay, they spin up and they spin down. Okay, that's how the, we feed the film in and out. Now this left and right right here, when it's in the off mode, it, it moves the carriage. Okay, it moves the carriage left, it moves the carriage right. If you, if you press it real quick, it only moves it just a little bit. If you hold it down, it runs. See that? Okay, so we want to keep all the carriage coming back over here. Now, we want to push this button again to get it back online. That means I'm connected to the laptop and I can also use these arrows to control some more features. I can control the speed and the downforce. We always want to start this machine off with 300, um, uh, at a speed of 300, uh, I guess that's millimeters a second. Okay, that's, that's where we start. As we get more comfortable with the machine, we probably can graduate to 500 to 800 millimeters a second and get this thing going really fast, but not too fast. And then uh, the way to change that, watch these arrows. See, I just changed it, it went to 312. I went up and it goes, see, it goes in increments. You just gotta get it down to 300 and kind of play with it a little bit. So I'm 300. Now I'm gonna use the left and right arrows and I wanna start my force at 90, uh, at 90, I'm at 93 now. Uh, so, so I'm at 90, I'm at 300, that's where I want to start. We always start at this speed and this force, okay? So um, now I want to um, talk about how we're going to thread the material in. So for right now, let's uh, go offline. Let's get, let's address the material back here. Now, yeah, you know, stay in the front, right? Stay in the front. I'm going to show you guys these, these, okay, these grit rollers, okay, there's about an inch. They're exposed, so there's an inch here, there's an inch here, okay? What we want to do is when we identify our material, if you, if you put the material in and feed it like you're supposed to, you start moving the material to the left or the right until you line up on these little um, grit rollers. We've got this machine to where it works really really great with 40 inch rolls, 36 inch rolls, 20 inch rolls, and 24 inch rolls, they're, they're gonna line up. And so what you want to do is figure out You'll, you'll start memorizing this. If you're gonna use a 40 inch roll, you'll kind of remember which two grit rollers are gonna be the ones that are, are gonna be used in the process. So I've already aligned these pitch rollers above the grit rollers that I'm gonna to use to feed this film in and out. Okay, and this is the ones that I've chosen. You see where they are right here. Okay, if I wanted to put a different size roll, I would identify the other two rollers, grit rollers, and I would move the, you know, the pinch rollers to, in, 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 into the appropriate place so that when I put the film in, I line it up perfectly with the grit rollers and I know that the pinch rollers are already above it. Then I hit this lever to go down and that's where I pinch it and we're gonna go back and forth. You don't ever wanna pinch the edges where the roller's halfway off one side and halfway off the other. It has to be completely on the film. If you try to do anything that's halfway, you're gonna see some crinkling in the middle. It's gonna make a huge mess. That's bad, okay? So let's, let's feed this film in. This is a 40 inch roll. This is just dyed film. You see how I start? I just put it on the back ledge. I just sort of ease it through. I've already lined this up. I'm gonna look ahead a little bit and I'm gonna make sure I'm perfectly even over these pinch rollers and these grit rollers on each side. Let me double check over here with my eyes. I like it. Okay, this is, this is the secret here, okay? Notice how I'm holding the film right here. I'm holding it a few inches out. I'm holding it in the middle, okay? I'm gonna, come over here, Brad. I'm gonna pull towards the cameraman, okay? And then I'm also, right here, I'm gonna put my hand here, and I'm gonna pull this film. You see how it's tight? See how it's tight right here? And see how it's loose right here? Watch this, watch this. I can move this and pull it with tension, and I can get it perfectly even on both sides. I don't want it like this. I don't want it like that. I don't want any slack. I want it perfectly straight, tight, nice, and clean. And once I get it that, that even and clean, I'm gonna carefully come back here and lower the pinch roll. Now, now I'm gonna test it, I'm gonna test it. Watch this, come over here Brad, I wanna see the back of you. I'm gonna roll this thing tight. You see how I got a little slack here and how I have no slack here? See that? 
Okay, that means it's going to be crooked. See that? That's crooked. That's slack. That's tight. So you know what I got to do? I got to put my hand right here to hold the film. I got to raise the pinch roller. Okay, I got to come back over here and I got to reposition it, make sure it's tight. It's real tricky. Sometimes you'll get good at it. Roll we'll it back down again. Now I got it tight on both sides. Now I know I'm guaranteed I'm going to get straight. You know, in and out. It's not going to wobble or walk back and forth and come off. So there we go. That was a, a critical maneuver that will save you tons of film. Okay, so now I'll tell you what, Brad. Come over here. Let's show them how I'm going to set up the test. Can you make the software add a few inches after each cut so you don't have to feed it out yourself? No, this is not an automatic machine. Every time, we're going to establish this in a minute. Every time you cut a pattern, you have to establish the order. We haven't got that far yet. But you got to roll the film out, and you got to get the carriage lined up, and then you got to hit origin. And, and, and before you cut any pattern, origin, then, you can, then you're ready to cut a pattern. If you don't establish the origin, it doesn't know where to cut. Um, on a rolling, if you put the film in and you hit enter, it'll automatically scan, and then it'll determine where the origin is when it comes back to the, to the end of the pinch roller, and then you're good to go. This one doesn't have that feature. you got to manually set it, hit origin, then you're ready to cut. It's, a, it's like a stick shift versus an automatic. Just an extra step, okay? So what we want to do now is we want to go to our program. I've already cut this pattern, so I'm gonna go backwards. Um, you can do this 101 ways, okay? See, there's my flex cut, tech support. I'm gonna, I'm gonna click on, I'm gonna open up my flex cut, let it go through its thing, okay? I'm not gonna update my patterns right now, so I'm gonna dismiss all that. Then we're gonna open it up. Here we are. What you want to do is you want to identify this little stop sign. Yours might be in a different place. And I'm going to click on it like this. I'm going to left click it. And we'll come down here. See how it's got this little circle here and up across? Okay, I'm going to be looking at these. Uh, well, I'll want to show you when I do this. I'm going to hold the, I'm going to come in the middle somewhere, anywhere. It don't matter. I'll come over here. I'll start over here. But what I want to do is I'm going to hold my left clicker down right now. See, now i got these blanks, okay? And I want, to, I want to drag it down. I want to kind of go to the left a little bit. See how it's making that oval right there. Okay, now watch these values here change, okay? You see the top the top value is 2.4 and the bottom value is 13. Watch, I want to grow that 13 to, let's grow it to, uh, let's grow it to 30. I'll grow it to 32. So the top 2.4, 2, okay, 1.8. 2.3. I, I don't know why I chose it. I like an oval that's going to be two inches wide, two and a half inches wide, and about 32 inches long. And there's a reason for that if I'm using a 40 inch roll. And then it, now, now, now watch what happens. I'm going to let off my clicker. Watch what happens. Boom. It turns black. Okay. Now it tells me it's 32 inches long and two inches, uh, 2.3 inches wide. Okay. L watch this. I want to click this little uh, icon with the glasses. Cause I want to, I want to show you what it does when you find that icon. Watch this. Now that shows me what's going on. I got a 40 inch roll. And now I'm gonna, I can enlarge this screen a little bit right here. I'm gonna go here to enlarge it. Okay, I just wanna, okay, I wanna show you guys something. You see that's zero, 10 inches, 20 inches, 30 inches. I got a 40 inch roll. I know I got 38 inches to cut. So I want an oval that kind of goes across the whole thing, but I don't want to go too far over. So I pick 32 randomly, 32.13, whatever. And, and it's two inches wide. That's the oval that I want to cut, okay? So what I want to do is I want to set it up on quick cut. No, excuse me. So I, you don't have this problem. I got a bunch of plotters. So that's that's where the driver is. I want to make sure I'm on the right driver. That's the Titan, okay? Then I want to come over here to quick cut. Okay, I'm ready to cut. Let's go back to the machine though to prepare it to cut. So to prepare this machine to cut, back to that origin question, you have to tell this machine where to cut. It doesn't know where to start. You have to tell it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go offline to where it says move. We're going to use these arrows. So what I want to do is I want to I want to put the film at the right place. Let me show you where I like to put it. I want to use these arrows up and down. Okay. I want to move the film to about right. I like that line right there. That's what I like. There's my Teflon strip. It's about an inch, a little over an inch out, but past that. I might even go a little further down just for the video. I might go to the next one with the heck. Um, I could be a little more conservative, okay? Now I gotta move my carriage. If I look down at my blade, I gotta get on my knees for this. I, I, I want my pinch roller right here. I want this blade to be right to the left of it. So watch this. Let's go. I'm gonna put my head where you are, Brad. So I, I'm gonna get it right where I want. 
Now show them where I put it, Brad. Oh. See how I'm right to the left? I don't want to be in the path of that pinch roller. I want to be to the left of it. So once I'm established, now look what button I'm going to press. Enter. Watch this. See how so when I press enter, it goes down? That is, I've just set my origin. Not only have I set my origin, but the machine is now connected to the laptop. It's ready to receive a command. And now I want to cut this test over. Because I didn't put that blade too deep, I might not even scratch the field, but I want to start conserving. I want to get to where I'm going to keep dialing that blade in to where we start scratching the film. Then we're going to go through some more steps to dial it even better, okay? So I'm going to hit quick cut, and let's watch what it does. Seriously, watch what it does. So, so now it's cutting. Now what we want to do is see, is it cutting all the way through? Is it doing anything? See how quiet that is? That's pretty nice, isn't it? Very. Okay, see, now look. It absolutely did nothing. It did nothing. That's good. That's, it's okay to do nothing. You want to hit offline every time you do a finish with a cut. Let's put it back to where we like to start. Okay. Let's, um, we don't have to move it left to right. We've already done all that. We're kind of good for now. So we know we can hit enter and get it ready. But let's, we have to adjust the blade now. Okay. Since we didn't get it, to, it's not deep enough. It's not deep enough. So what we have to do, we have to loosen this a little bit. We have to feel this a little, so there's nothing there. I don't feel anything, so I'm gonna go. Okay, you see how much I turned it? I'm gonna turn it back, okay? Watch how much I turned it, watch, watch this. That's, that's hardly anything at all. So now I'm gonna tighten it down, the little copper ring, and put it back in there. We're gonna repeat the process. And soon we're gonna start getting this thing to cut. Okay, we're, we're gonna get it to cut in a minute. We may cut through, we may not cut enough, okay? Now I'm back. Now I'm ready to give it a command. So I'm gonna come back over here to my, my quick cut. I'm gonna hit quick cut. Um, the driver's still there. Okay, everything's good. I'm ready to cut. Ready? Let's do it. Okay. You cut. So now let's watch what it does. Did I, did I put too much blade or did I not have enough? Eventually we'll dial this thing in and we'll find out. I'm gonna walk over here. Okay, look, nothing. I'm still not deep enough. That's okay. I'd, I'd rather be conservative than be too deep and butcher my whole system up, okay? So I'm gonna go offline. I'm gonna bring the film back. Bring it back, okay? I'm gonna go back online again. I'm gonna undo the blade. We're gonna be turning it again. I'm gonna use my fingers here to feel it. We're gonna just get real conservative, okay? I'm gonna loosen up my little deal there, okay? I'm gonna feel it, okay? I'm gonna turn it just a little bit. Okay, I feel it now. We may get some action. I'm gonna tighten that little ring back up. See, I've got my blade ready to cut. Okay, I'm gonna put it back in. So it's a process. I'd rather take more time to get it right than to get it, get too aggressive with it. So I'm ready to cut again. I'm gonna go quick cut. Let's see what it does. Now we're we're gonna get to the point here in a minute. We're gonna start cutting some film. But I'll tell you what, I'm not going to go through it. I'm not going to butcher that Teflon strip up because we're going to be real conservative about it. Okay, let's look at it. Nothing. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm being a little chicken here. I'm going to... But I'm not going to get too aggressive because of... Uh, I'm going to get back. I'm sitting here talking and trying to... I'm going to keep it at 300, go back offline. Let's get it adjusted back right again. Okay, I'm gonna put the put push enter because I want to get it back. To, but I've got to adjust that blade again. Let's take it. Let's go through the process again. So this is a little boring, but we'll we'll get it. Okay, let's uh, watch how much I turn it. Watch. Okay, you saw that wasn't much. It was like you know from twelve to twelve thirty. It's just like half an hour. That's how much I turn. Okay, we'll put it back in. Barely tighten it. Once things have to get, get it snug. Okay, now we'll go. I've already set it to cut again, so let's, let's see what it does. You ready? I'm actually dragging this out a little bit on purpose. I want you to see how 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 you can perfectly dial this machine in, but you just gotta have a little bit of patience. And uh, okay, see now look here. We gotta cut. See that? See that? You can, I don't know if you can see it on the. Okay, but I can't. It's not. It's not going through the film. It's not even getting it to where I can take any of it off. So what I'm going to do now is go offline. I'm gonna go down below that oval like this. Oops, a little too far. Gotta be kind of careful with it. 
Okay, I'm gonna cut that oval out. We don't need it. It was, uh, I don't wanna cut over uh, the same tracks twice. You know, so I, I can't. See, what I like to do is I wanna fold this material like this and try to pick it off like this. And then I can't do anything with it. So, still on the floor. We're gonna move this back to the starting point. You know, so we don't wanna waste any film or much film. And then we wanna um, press enter. Okay, now we wanna undo the blade. Okay, now it's getting real, folks. Now is when we just barely have to touch it. I'm right-handed, I gotta do this right-handed, okay. So now we're gonna loosen this up. Okay, it's, I can feel that blade now. So watch this, this is, I want you to see this, watch. That's how much I turned it, okay? It was hardly nothing. I was like 12 to 12, 15, okay? I'm gonna put it back in there. Okay, I'm gonna turn it. It's ready to cut. If I did it right and I got lucky, we're gonna have a perfect cut, but I doubt it's gonna work out like that. You ready? Let's cut, let's see what happens. Now you notice I've only wasted three, three inches of film so far, three inches of film. So we're, we're not killing the film here. Okay, now I, I, I'm getting better. You see? I want to, I can't, I can't, I still can't, I'm cutting it, but I'm not getting, I'm not going deep enough. So again, I want to, I want to pause it offline. I want to move my arrow. I want to cut that out. I want to, I want to be a little more aggressive with the blade. I'm going to be real careful. We're going to get it right here in a minute. It's very simple. Okay, I'm, I'm up to six inches of film I've wasted over here. I'm going to show you that in a minute. I'm going to get my film back set again. Okay, then I'm going to hit enter. Then I'm ready to adjust the blade. Right handed, I got to do it this way. <laughs> At least that's going to work. Okay, now I'm going I'm to loosen this up. Now, now it's getting real. Watch this, watch this. See how much I turned it? Hardly anything. Watch this. Let's put it back in. Let's tighten it up. And I'm about to hit quick cut. Let's do it. You ready? Let's go. And now it's cutting. Let's see what it does. Look how smooth that is. I love it. Okay, now it's starting to get real. Now let's see what happens. Watch this. Look at this. Look at this. Butter. I, I just, I, I, you see how this is uh, trucking along. But that's what you want. You want to pull that oval out. You don't want any snags. You want to be perfect. Here's what you also want to check. Let's go to the underside of this. Let's uh, pause it. Let's wind it out some more. Let me just go ahead and cut it out. Okay. Now look here. See this? What we're going to do is we want to inspect the back of it. We want to see that it cut through. You know, we don't want it cutting through. And, and uh, it didn't, okay? So this is good. We can cut patterns like this all day. But you know what? I'm not satisfied, okay? Here's what we're going to do next. This is kind of fun. We're going to get this thing cut even better. Because, yes, you can get it cutting better. Okay, so now I am back. I'm back where I want to be on the adjustment. I've got my my blade. I don't want to turn this blade anymore. I'm happy with the blade. But here's what I want to do. You see where it says force 90 grams? I'm going to challenge my machine. Okay. I want to go. Um, I want to go up to about 93. Not much. I, I want to see if I can cut it a little better and still not cut that release line. That means I I can even cut it better. But if I do it this time and I start cutting the release line a little bit, I'm going to graduate back to 90 and I'm going to call it a day. That's the best it's going to cut. So. Let's uh, enter that. Let's, uh, we've set everything. We're gonna go back to split cut. Let's see what, what, if we can get it any better, okay? So we're gonna. Let's see, it's uh, three grams is a lot of weight in this business, okay? Now, you see how easy that is for me to weed? I mean, effortless, effortless. Now I'm gonna pause it, offline or whatever, and I'm gonna go down, and we're gonna inspect it to see if we got anything going through it. Okay. 
See, if you can keep if you can keep going down on the downforce and not cut through it, you're even cutting better. So don't sell out and think you're cutting the best when you can cut better. You know what I'm going to do now? We're going to go 96. Okay, why not? I want the best. When I cut pattern, I'm not playing. I want it, I want it to be right. Okay, so I'm going to um, get it set. My my my. Uh, I'm at 93. Let's go to let's go to 90. 96. See, I'm at 96 now. Hit enter. Now let's do another test cut. See, at some point I'm going to start cutting through. That's when I'm going to back off. But even if I cut through, it won't even scratch the Teflon strip. But we're doing it really gentle. I mean, mild increments here. Now let's, let's, let's see what it does. I can't get over how quiet that is, man. It's just very like quiet. The rolling, just like the roll. Okay. Alright, alright. Kind of, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and Take it off line or pause, whatever, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get me below my little cut line, which I just did. Let's uh, go ahead and cut it off. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna inspect it here. Now watch this. I'm gonna weed it. Get you got a good picture of this. See, look how see how see how that how easy that is. And look, I'm not I'm not cutting through it anywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna go up a little more. See, if, if you keep going up and not cut through it, you're gonna keep cutting better. So I'm gonna go offline, and then I'm gonna go to, um, okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to 99, let's go to 99. And then we're gonna hit enter. We're gonna go hit another quick cut. Now I wanna tell you guys while this is cutting again, cause you can hear me talk, it's so quiet. Um, we, 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 we like to start at 90 grams. And if we're gonna, if, if, we, if we're dialing this blade in and we get a little too aggressive, but it's almost perfect, we can start going backwards like 85. I don't like to go below 80. If you gotta go below, below 80, you need, to, you need to give up. You, you, you gotta go back to 90 and you gotta return the blade and get a little closer. We don't like to go over 110 either. So if you're having to go over 110, you might want to go back and turn the blade and get it more dialed in manual. Then you want to try to play with the downforce, downforce like we're doing right now to just really fine tune it in. So right now, I just cut on 99. I'm gonna go offline. I'm gonna get my, you know, my pattern. I just cut below the cut line. Now I'm gonna inspect it. See, a lot of you guys are when you haven't used a plotter before, you're having trouble weeding this stuff. Again, I want you to see what I do. I, I kind of I fold it. See, if you fold it, you can get you get you can get you can pick at it real easy, and then you can just kind of pull it. So I'm going to see if I'm cutting through this release line anywhere, and I'm not. Now I'm going to go ahead and, for the sake of time, we're going to like stop the video here. You can try to go up to 102. You know, you can go all the way up to 110 if you really want to get this thing like perfectly dialed in. But at some point, you know, you're just going to win. I mean, you're just going to keep going and you'll finally go through and you back off a little bit. You know, that's your sweet spot. And that's how you do it. It's a game. It's a game of science and an art. Because, you know, we, we, we try to kind of guess and fumble around with twisting that blade to get it initially cut and almost perfect. And then we use our, our downforce settings to really drive it in and make it perfect. And so now, for the fun of it, in this video, I'm going to... Um, I'm gonna move this back and get ready to cut again. Okay, so I'm gonna, I guess, reestablish my origin here. I know I got my left and right cool, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit my origin. I'm at 99 grams, I'm at 300. I'm gonna show you something cool. I'm gonna, I'm even gonna go to 500. Uh, maybe, it's, going, it's kind of going fast for me. Let's go to, let's go to 400, just go a little faster. I'm just, you know, getting cocky now, because I'm, I'm gonna cut a little faster. Let, let, let's pull up that pattern again, uh, like, like, a, like a, a, a car pattern or something. I don't know, I like that. Uh, I had a tighten up earlier, it's a pretty big old window. Yeah, I got out of my program. Let's just come back in and let's pull up a pattern, like a real pattern so we can see how, we, we, but we basically wanna get back to where we were in the beginning of the video. So uh, I'm gonna go to my database here and uh, Let's see what I got here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's a there's a side window. It's a 32 
inch long window by 19 inches. I want to view it. It's in my little window. If I want to see it enlarged, you know, like sometimes you like to do just to make sure. Uh, let's cut it. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit quick cut. I've already got it set. It's like we're instead of cutting over, we're cutting a, a pattern. Let's see what it does. I got the speed up this time. And I got the force down like we are. Let's see what it does. I'm uh, gonna change the driver out. This is my my default driver for this roll here. I've got to go back to tighten real quick. We're there now. Here, let's do a quick cut. Ready? Let's go. This is a like a Nissan Titan. And we're cutting the pattern out. And we'll take it over here to this other where this other pattern is. And we're gonna see if we can't weed it as beautifully as we did on, on the beginning of the video. Okay, that's the pattern, it went a little faster. It's quiet. We could cut these out all day long now and just tent cars all day and have fun when we get to this point, okay? So I'm gonna cut it. We're gonna come over here, discard this. This, this hurts as much as it does y'all guys. I hate to turn some time away, but it's for the sake of making everybody more money and helping them cut patterns. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put this up here. Let's see. I gotta weed, weed this on my table up right here, but I'm gonna do it better for the camera. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy it in our bike tent. Let's see. Uh -oh. Guys, I'm getting tired. I've been up all day. <laughs> um, well, let's see what it does. Let's go around the other way. We're, we're going to go the opposite way. Okay. Let's see the All right, there we go. Look at that. I mean, I mean, Teddy. I'm playing with it now. That's it. That's how you dial in the time. You got, you got any questions? Um, I mean, maybe not putting it together and all that, but you saw where we started. We, you know, got the blade from scratch. We, we put it in. We lubricated it. We, we literally put the sleeve back on. We started to get it just to where we could barely feel it. You know, we, we put it in. We started where we were just not even cutting the film, but we we we, we kept going a little at a time. So we started scratching the film, and then once we started scratching the film, we just went just a little bit more. And then we got to where we could finally weed it. It looked like we were doing perfect, but there was still way more to go with more downforce adjustments and things like that to get it even better. And we could still even get it better, probably. But that's pretty good. And I'm happy with that. And, uh, you know, this, this uh, the, 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 the pressure on these pinch rollers, I've got it on probably one of the uh, heaviest pressure I can. You know, they're, they're right in the middle of the grit rollers. You know, we have to always pay attention to the grit rollers and we have to put our film right even on those and get the pinch roller down and uh you can you can cut you can cut it all along this machine anybody got any questions brad is it yeah see if you're going on okay uh, we're, we're on the flex zone a uh, nation group you know we're a smaller group so there's not as much activity but i'm gonna share this on some of the other groups and uh you know we'll see if we, we can generate some more questions but i guess this is it if you got any more questions though please in the group feel free to just you know ask me anything and i'll be looking to see what's going on and try to answer you.